to Mr. Mayor for, for all of that. Um, my question asked about planning policies, and I wanted to ask about some work I've done to monitor affordable housing in planning decisions. Um, I've published a report, and the question I asked for my report, which is called No Show Homes, uh, was how many affordable homes for Londoners should have been secured from planning permissions in recent years, according to the current London plan policies that you inherited, but were not. Um, I looked at all the data since 2016, and I found that 153,000 homes have got planning permission. Is there permission. going to be a question here, or are you telling us about your report? I need to put some data before the Mayor before I ask my question. Thank you very much. 153,000 homes have got planning permission, um, so homes are being planned with lots of potential affordable homes missing. So in total, what I found, by missing Mayor Johnson's strategic target of 40%, London's missed out on 33,424 affordable homes. Now, I also found a huge difference between boroughs um, when I checked where the missing homes were. And obviously, the, the number missing in each borough is a combination of the percentage the borough is managing to get plus the yeah. amount of development that's going on. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I, I'm sorry, Senator Member. My Barry, question to you, Mr. Lots. Matt, is... <laughs> go on, I can go get on. Thank you very much. Question. My question to you is, what are you saying to London boroughs who are letting affordable homes in current development slip through the net? And are you focusing attention and the help you give in tightening up planning decisions on those places with the most lost homes? Because their failings have the most impact on Londoners. Well, just, just a few things, Chair, if I may. My understanding of the previous Mayor's London plan, which still exists now, is there was no target. He made a virtue of abolishing Ken Livingston's target, and he, in an article he gets paid very handsomely for, accuses me of being ideologically obsessed with affordable housing. Uh, and I plead guilty to my obsession with affordable housing. And by the way, the editor of The Standard, uh, uh, George Osborne, uh, also criticises me for wishing to build more affordable homes. Yep, this is the issue I'm trying to tackle today. Yeah. I'm not sure if I agree with your analysis, though, about uh, the previous having a target, because he didn't, let alone 40%. But also you'll be aware a number of councils decide on applications that don't reach me because they're of a certain size. Yeah. So the only applications I see are those applications that are for more than 150 units or above a certain height. I've been quite clear in my uh, SPG guidance that the expectation is for a strategic target of 50%, but they can be fast-tracked 35% uh, if it's, uh, uh, the developer agrees straight away 35%. Mm -hmm. And I'll be making sure when it comes to me deciding upon applications, seeing what a council is doing. And if a council isn't meeting its affordable housing target, that may be a reason for me to step in and intervene. Great. I mean, things I'm thinking about are, uh, for, for example, proactively deploying your, your viability team to boroughs that are doing badly. Um, but just, just a final um, question about the fast track policy, which you mentioned. Um, I looked at the before and after figures for when that came in. Uh, and I'm afraid looking at you know, quarter by quarter, the overall figures, that was a bit inconclusive. But in July, there's just been 11 applications, so this is not scientific data. Um, the numbers I looked at are more promising. There were 45% affordable homes in the July figures, and you said that it's been 38% since June. Now, both those figures are above 35. So will you keep monitoring this progress and review the threshold of 35% much earlier than you're currently planning to do that in 2021? Well, there's a formal process of adopting the London Plan. I can't accelerate that. That's in the government's hands. Your uh, SPG could be amended earlier. The, the SG, SPG's guidance, uh, and it has uh, less legal weight than it would do after the uh, adoption of the London Plan. Uh, so we're keen to make progress to have the London Plan adopted in full rather than in draft. We've telegraphed, though, to councils, developers, housing associations what the intention is. And a savvy developer will want to fast-track 35%. Uh, sooner than the London plan being adopted. That's one of the reasons why we did it, to accelerate uh, houses being started in London, but particularly affordable housing. Okay, thank you. I'm afraid I'm out of time, um, but thank you very much. That was interesting. <laughs>